Hi guys and welcome back to Vlogmas. Uh, today is day five of Vlogmas and I'm going to be doing a sit down video for you all. Um, as much as I've been loving doing all the vlogs um, and things like that, I still wanted to bring you some of my normal content um, because you love it, I love it, so I thought I'd still keep it going through this Christmas period of vlogs. This is also, it's not going to be the first video you see on my new camera, but it is the first video that I am filming on my new camera, so it's very, very exciting. Um, but also, if it's a little bit clunky and goes a little bit wrong, I do apologise. Um, and it's the first time actually having a viewfinder, so as much as I'm going to try and remember to look at the camera as much as possible, uh, you're actually, like, to the side, because that's where the viewfinder is. So if it goes wrong, I do apologise, but from what I can see, the video quality is so much better and it's going to make it so much easier to create content for you all and I'm just so so excited um so yeah so i'm gonna stop blabbering now and actually get on with the video so today we are going to be filming a gymshark haul i love a gymshark try on you love a gymshark try on well i say that you like a gym wear try on we haven't actually done a gymshark try on on this channel yet so this is very very exciting got a massive bag of gymshark gym wear for you let's get on and try it all out so let's get on to the video So, as I said, I've got the massive bag here, so let's open it up and see what's inside. That, again, was quite a dramatic, well, a quite uneventful um, clothing pour. I will get better at them. I need to get better at them because they look so fun when other creators do it and then I do it and it just doesn't seem to work. But let's have a look at what we've got. So we have six items here, lots of fun colours as you can see, we've got the pink on top. Um, I did get all this during the Black Friday sales, it's probably the one time that I actually um, buy Jim Stark stuff because of how spenny it can be. But yeah, Jim Stark sales, got loads of items, so let's get in on into it and see how good they are because it's Gymshark, so I definitely, definitely have high hopes for it. So I couldn't not open this one first because of the colour. It is very, very pink and very, very pretty. If you know anything about me, you know I love a bit of pink. So let's see what these are. So, oh, okay, okay. So this is a pair of the pink two-in-one shorts. Um, so they've got the normal like Gymshark shorts underneath and then just some floaty shorts over the top. Um, when I first started climbing, I lived and breathed in shorts like this. Um, so fingers crossed they look cute on because it would be nice to have a couple more or some new updated versions in my wardrobe because sometimes you just don't want the tight shorts but you want the shorts still. So I think these are great and you can't wear baggy shorts when you're climbing because you'll flash someone when you're halfway up the wall which is unfortunately well no not so unfortunately it's just not a vibe um not a vibe at all so we're not gonna be doing that they are more of like a bright pink than i thought they were on the model um which is a little bit unfortunate i was i thought i think it doesn't say the name um on the bags but i thought they were gonna be like a bit more bubble gummy because I think that was the colour name and this is quite like a bright pink but they're still cute I like a bit of a bright pink so we'll see what they look like on um they've got a really thick ribbed waistband which I love it's sort of like a seamless uh, feel to the shorts underneath and then just a really lightweight breathable pink fabricy floaty material over the top it's a little bit like a skirt, I'd say um so yeah let's go try them on okay so Move the camera back now, and I'm gonna, fingers crossed, hop up on the bed and see how this goes. Um, so here are the first pair of shorts on. Um, hopefully you can see me all right. 
Um, but yeah, I think they're really, really quite cute. Um, so obviously not particularly flattering at all from any angle. They're just like a pair of like floaty shorts. Um, but they're super, super comfy. I love how sort of compressive uh, the waistband is, which is really cute. To be honest, I probably could have sized up to a medium uh, just for a little bit more com comfortable. But as long as the waistband like stretches slightly, I think it'll be fine. But even if it doesn't, to be fair, there, there's a lot of room in them. It's just quite a compressive waistband, which I don't necessarily always look for recently. But very, very cute. Um, the cycling shorts and can be like pulled down quite far. I don't think that's necessarily uh, the vibe that I'm gonna go for, but um, if you want like the shorts underneath to be longer, they can as well. Um, but yeah, super, super cute. Love the color on, I think with a nice like white sports bra, be great. Next up, we have got a sports bra. And this is sort of one of their like original sports bras. I'll open it up probably can't hear me over the wrestling um but yeah so this is like it's really annoying that they don't like have any tags with names on or anything like that uh, but i think it's called like the original sports bra or something like that um and it's got gymshark lifting club um on like the front of the sports bra and it's sort of like a bandeau square sort of neck style which is something that i don't have in my wardrobe um, and it's just a little bit different. It doesn't have a funky back on it, but I just fancied something a little bit more sort of normal and sort of I'd say basic bitch gym wear because I think that is what Gymshark wear is. It's a bit more sort of popularized and lots of gym goers wear it, but that's not a bad thing. It just means it works. So I wanted, I felt left out. So I had to join in with this Sports bra trend. White, cute, pretty design, a little bit different. Absolutely up my street. Let's go try it on. Okay, so here is the second item, which is the sports bra. And it is so, so, so cute. I am thoroughly impressed. I did not think I'd like this as much as I do. Cause it's definitely like a little bit different for me. Like, I love the design. I think that's really, really cute. Um, neckline for some reason, find it really, really flattering. Um, obviously I love the color cause I'm a sucker for a white sports bra. The padding does move around a bit, which is a little bit weird, but I'll probably end up taking that out anyway. Um, it feels relatively supportive as well. So if you need a little bit of support, I'd say it's probably like medium. Um, it's definitely not high support, but then there's definitely not nothing. Um, from the back, just like really, really simple, um, but like cute. Um, so yeah would 10 out of 10 recommend this one um, and I think it will look really cute especially with some of the items that I've actually got in this haul today um, and just any like bright pair of leggings or anything like that because I think it's really really cute um, but also quite plain so it will go with some of my like brighter pieces. Another pink item. That is one thing I don't particularly like either is the bags. They're not like the nicest material. I don't think they're recyclable or anything like that. So it's just sort of plasticky. We cut our, what does it say? We cut the use of swing tags and made this bag from, so I, it's partly recycled, but yeah, you can't recycle the bags. Not the best, but it's just packaging at the end of the day. So not the best, uh, not really matters that much. Let's look at the product. So a pair of hot pink leggings. These are the same color um, as the pair of shorts I got and I just couldn't resist getting them in the legging form as well. Um, I haven't had a new pair of Gymshark leggings for like two years now, so super, super cute. Love the really thick waistband to them, but it's not as thick on the legging, which is good. So it should suck me in, but shouldn't like be too compressive in other parts. Um, really, really stretchy fabric. Hopefully they look flattering on because I love the colour and I would love these ones to fit me. Um, just so you know, I got everything in this haul other than one item, which I'll show you later in a small, um, because I assume I'm a small, but I don't really know um, with gym shark wear because I haven't bought it in years, but we'll see when we try it on. 
Okay, so here is the second pair of leggings and I love the colour. I don't, obviously it's the same colour as it was on the shorts, but for some reason I'm finding it so, so much cuter on the leggings. I am in love. These will be on my body 24 seven. So for starter, the things I love is, I love how stretchy um, the material is sort of around the legs um, and like the bum and like, they fit me all the way down in the leg, which is um, brilliant. Um, I also love how well they go with a sports bra and the waist brand is really thick and super, super compressive, which is really, really good. Um, what else do I love? The colour, um, but the only thing I would say is because of how stretchy the material is on the legs, it's unfortunately like very, very thin. Um, and I've got like a, mediumly thick pair of underwear on and you can definitely definitely see it so i think you'd have to wear like itty bitty thongs or like seamless underwear i'll probably wear my seamless underwear with it just so i don't have any underwear lines because that is a little bit of a pet hate of mine and you're definitely gonna see it with that but yeah this is like a proper cute fit and i definitely feel like a gymshark girly um in this fit so 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 cute so most of the items i got in the Gymshark sale, I think were like 10 pounds, no more than like 12 pounds. But this one was still a bit spenny. Um, but you know, like I've been eyeing this up for months and months and months now. So I thought it's a little bit cheaper in the Black Friday sale. So we'll give it a go. We'll see what it's like. Um, and I can always take it back. But, oh, okay. I don't even know how to hold this up to show it to you guys. So it's, ah, I see, I've got it now. So it's one of their like barely there or like minimal sports bras. Um, and it's really cute. So it's like a little V-necked itty bitty sports bra for the front. And then it's got this like strap detailing on the back, which I think adds a little bit of support, but you can like unhook. If you see, there's like little clasps focusing it's not focusing but yeah there's like little hooks that you can like unclasp and it just becomes like a halter neck backless sports bra um yeah i love the look of this i've seen it so many times on so many different people and i've actually gone back on the site and ordered it in another color as well because i just love the look of them so much so we'll see what this one looks like on in this color and see if i like it Okay, so here is the other sports bra and honestly the thing that I was most excited for and it did not disappoint. It is super, super, super cute. Um, it's very itty bitty, so if you've got something going up up here, it's definitely not for you. But for all my little bitty titty girls out there, um, it is perfect. So really, really cute um, from the front. I love the colour. There's no padding, no cups, no nothing. So like bear that in mind if you want to get this, that doesn't bother me at all. Um, and then the back, so that is the back of the top, which I think is so, so cute. I love the strappy detail, um, but what we've all wanted, I'm going to unhook the clips and come back to show you what it looks like um, with the sort of just purely backless um, top to it. So one second. So obviously it looks completely this, exactly the same from the front, um, but it's completely backless. Um, and I just think that is so, so cute. Uh, that is gonna be absolutely amazing um, for those back shots when you're climbing, when you're at the gym. Definitely lived up to its expectations and I can't wait to have it in another color as well. The other color I've got is white, obviously, because me and white sports bras are just, amazing um well they're not amazing i just have a love for white sports bras even though i get foundation all over them um so yeah super super cute to be honest i probably could have got for an extra small rather than the small and i feel like that would have meant that i felt like a little bit more in but i definitely know nothing's coming out because there's nothing really to come out so it's not the end of the world um but if you have very small boobs like me potentially you could size down with that one also with the straps you can sort of just like unhook one and not the other so you could do some other like cute designs on there if you wanted like an in between of like the backless and the not backless so it's really really customizable this one 
thoroughly in love, definitely worth the extra little bit of money. So I also picked up a, another pair of leggings and these ones are not in a material that I was expecting them to be in, but, oh no, they're really not. This is a really weird material. So it's not ribbed, it's, feels a bit like papery, cardboardy. It's really bizarre. I'm sure it's, I mean, it's thick and looks relatively good quality. So I'm not sure it's necessarily a bad thing, but it's just a bit different. In fact, like the leggings, legs feel like a bit swimwear-y. That was not what I was expecting at all. But yeah, anyway, so I picked up this pair of sort of green, lime green, not lime green, sort of apple green leggings um, with this like tie-dye print on them. Looked super, super cute. They've actually got a sort of bum scrunch on the back, which hopefully will be quite flattering. Um, and it's like a really, really, really thick waistband. Like that is all waistband. Um, so hopefully it will suck you in and make you look really good. But I'm thrown off by the material, I can't lie. It was just not what I was expecting at all. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna think of these. Let's go try them on um, and, and see what they're like, I suppose. I was right to be a little bit cautious about these leggings. So I was actually pleasantly surprised when I put them on because of sort of how compressive they were. Like I can see that's definitely what this material is meant to do. And it definitely like does suck me in. Um, but, and I feel like, like I would get leggings in this material again, but unfortunately that is sort of where the good <laughs> ends with these leggings. So it's super, super compressive and really cute sort of design. But for some reason, the length on them is like completely different. Um, so they only like, I'd say they're definitely three quarter length on me, which is weird because they're not meant to be three quarter length and all the other Gymshark leggings I've ever bought have always fit me. So I find that really, really weird. Um, they're also like four bum scrunch leggings. They're not doing anything for my bum, which isn't necessarily the end of the world. But if you're advertising it as a bum scrunch legging with a bum scrunch, then I would expect them to be uber, uber flattering. The only way that you are sort of able to get it like properly scrunch is if you like hike them in. Um, but then unfortunately it does a little bit of camel towing in that area, which no one loves. And that's why I'm trying to be really careful and standing with my legs quite wide apart because these definitely give you massive camel toe, even if like, even if they're not like right hiked into your bum. I think it's because they've got like a bit of a seam in the middle, which isn't particularly great. I mean, we're all friends here. It's all right, I can tell you that. Um, but yeah, these are going straight back, unfortunately, which is a shame because I actually thought from the material when I put it on that they might be all right. And I think with the other sports bra, they'd be really, really cute. But they're just unfortunately a no. <laughs> And finally, one more item, because we're getting into the cosier, comfier months, I picked up um, a Gymshark jumper. And this is the item that I didn't get in a small, but I got in a large. So I got this like massively, massively huge um, white sweater. Um, it's really plain, really simple. It's just got the Gymshark logo on the front of it embroidered, which is really, really cute. And it's just really big um, and really baggy and just perfect. I love a white item, even though I wear a lot of um, makeup. And I feel like, especially like at Reading Climbing Centre, where I climb a lot, like it's great, love it. But it does get really, really cold and there's like no form of heating at all. So when you first get in there, like you are freezing until you warm up. So we've got some jumpers um, to keep us warm and to get us through it. So yeah. It's a very, very simple last item, but we'll see what it looks like on, nevertheless. Let's go. Okay, so here is the final item on, and it's the Gymshark jumper. I think I might have slightly oversized a little bit too much. Don't get me wrong, I love an oversized fit, but like I've put a pair of shorts on to show you. Look how long it is. It literally could be a dress on me and is very very boxy as well 
So as much as it's definitely like my fault for ordering like such a huge size, I'm just not convinced. Cause I like, literally, I'm like, the shorts you cannot see at all. Which is a real shame. Cause it's actually really, really cute. Um, I love the fact that the logo is embroidered. Um, and also it's, it's weird how creased a jumper is cause jumpers don't usually get this like creased, but then I'm hoping I feel like they just drop out. So I don't know, cause it's really cute. Um, I love the fact that it's white, even though it's gonna get really dirty, but it's just like the sleeves as well. Like the armholes, like coming down to like my elbow. I just feel like I personally have just sized up way too much. Um, so I don't know, I think it was women's. So it means that like, it's probably oversized to start with. So I probably could have definitely gone for like one size up or just not sized up at all. Cause it's like, which is a shame but I don't know because it's still kind of cute undecided on this one <laughs> okay so that brings us to the end of this try on haul um I hope you guys liked it I feel like I've got some proper cute fits from Gymshark now that I'm very very excited to wear down to the gym it's super super exciting um yeah there was a couple of odd ones in the middle that I wasn't expecting like the um, green leggings. I expected them to fit a lot better than they did, but only to have like one NAF one out of a haul is really, really good. And I think Gymshark is definitely worth the price. It's just when you're a student, it's really hard to pay the price, uh, which is why Black Friday sales are always great um, and a good addition because then you can get it at a time when it's a little bit more affordable because I do love affordable gym wear, especially with climbing and stuff because you just go through it, you get holes in it, it gets dirty when you go down to the crag. Um, it's just really not worth spending like 50 pounds on a pair of leggings. Like no one has 50 pounds to, pair of spare, 50 pounds to spend on a pair of leggings that you're gonna chuck some knee bars up the side of a wall and then get holes in them. It's just unfortunately um, not, not great, but it was really cute. A lot of the items, 1000% the white sports bra um, and the uh, like backless sports bra I will be keeping. I think probably I'll keep the pink leggings um, as well. N still a little bit undecided about the shorts and this jumper and the green leggings will be going back because they were not a vibe. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and you're enjoying Vlogmas. Um, I'm very excited um, to be doing it all for you guys this year. Um, and I, if you did like this video, if you could like, comment and subscribe, let me know what you'd be keeping, what you'd be sending back. If there's any other, um, companies that you'd like me to do hauls from, let me know. Um, and yeah, Merry Christmas to you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.